Hey, hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I think it was about two days ago, I accidentally, by mistake, clicked on an EV Carnage video. Ooh, <laughs> and uh, what he was talking about, let me lay the groundwork of what he was talking about. So I'll adjust my cap first, like so, okay? Get the old thinking cap in the right position. What was he talking about? So, he was in his car, driving around his old hometown. Sounds like the old Tom Jones song, doesn't it? So, he was driving around in his old hometown. Uh, and the re relevance was that it's quite a small town. And he said about 3,000 houses. And he was talking about the Tesla Semi and, you know, the theoretical maximum power that they're going to use in the future to recharge and I got it in front of me by here is 3.75 megawatts which is massive now when he said that's a large amount of power he's absolutely correct but the whole video was sort of a a knee-jerk overreaction type video where you know, it's impossible, it's absolutely impossible, and where's the power going to come from? Now, I'm not the sort of knee-jerk type person, so I don't overreact. I'll try, I've tried to do a little bit of research, okay? So you're going to have to follow along with me. So the groundwork is, and the basis of the video, is he's driving around, 3,000 houses is quite similar to the amount of power to charge a Tesla Semi. But when he says 3,000 houses, it's not quite right, okay? So let's get into it, okay? So first of all, in front of me by here, it says Tesla Semi reaches 1.2 megawatt charging as the new connector targets 3.75 megawatt power. So at the moment is 1.2. But let's just say sometime in the future, maybe a long time in the future. Uh, it could theoretically be 3.75 megawatts of power. Now, let's have a look at the houses first, okay? How much energy does one house consume? So, I think I got it by here somewhere, along here somewhere. So here we go. The average UK household uses approximately 0 0.32 to 0 0.42 kilowatt hours of energy per hour based on an average daily of 7.4 to 10 kilowatt hours okay so get that locked in now and uh, if we try and times that number there so if i stay here let's get rid of that bit there uh he said 3000 houses so let's type in 0 0.4 to kilowatt hours and we'll times that by 3000 I've already done it there look and so 3000 houses okay 1260 kilowatt hours okay that's how much it consumes in one hour now this is where it all gets a little bit um, different to what he was saying because he's on about how much power can be put into the battery. He's not talking about how much power it needs in an hour. Now, if I read somewhere, the Tesla Semi, the battery is about 800 kilowatt hour battery size, okay? 800 kilowatt hour battery size. So if we said 800 kilowatt hours, that would be the equivalent of not 3,000 houses. If I do my basic maths by here, it'd be... 2,000 houses. In fact, if I type in 2,000 there instead, like that, that's 840 kilowatt hours. So that it, it'll be using to fill up a Tesla Semi from empty to full would be using the same amount of power as 2,000 houses over one hour, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yes or no? <laughs> okay. So it's 2,000 houses. To, that's how much power it would take to fill the battery over an hour. Um, but the theoretical 3.75 would fill it 
in more than an hour, but it only t it only actually take 800 kilowatt hours of energy because that's the size of the battery. It can't take more than the size of the battery, if that makes sense. Now, so we've established that that is a lot of power. So he's correct. That's a lot of power. But, <laughs> and it's a big but, let's have a look how much energy we need to refine a gallon of fuel and then how many gallons does an, a, a diesel lorry take? Let's have a book. look. Let's have a butcher's. Let's see what it's all about. So, uh, see if I can find it on here. I have got, now I've looked at the a Mercedes truck, which is one of the more fuel efficient ones, one of the newer ones. Um, it says it got two tanks, one bigger one, one smaller one. This is the averages I'm taking by here. So there might be some that take more long distance ones, and it might be some that take less. So this is just around the average. So we've got a Mercedes truck here. The two tanks combined take 660 litres, uh, which is 145.18 imperial gallons. Now... 145 gallons, so we'll take that and say 145 times 6 kilowatts is 870 kilowatt hours, which, you know, is a little bit more. <laughs> if you followed along now, right, that number there is very similar to the amount of electric energy to fill up a Tesla Semi. So refining fuel with electricity is taken roughly the same amount of energy to fill up a Tesla Semi and a diesel truck. Same amount of electric energy, the same amount. Now, you could argue, and you'd be correct, that the refining uh, companies do create their own electricity, um, but it proves that it's not impossible, is it? Nothing's impossible. And you've got to, you've got to remember that... We're not going to wake up tomorrow morning and every single diesel truck has been replaced by a Tesla Semi. It's not going to happen. It happens over a very, very long period of time. So once you look at it like that, and not from a knee-jerk perspective without any research at all, it doesn't look so ridiculous, does it? No, it doesn't look so ridiculous. So look how much electricity is needed for all the thousands of trucks on the UK roads. It's massive. It's huge. But nobody goes, ooh, we can't create that much electricity. It's impossible. It's filling up one truck is the same as 2,000 houses. How are we going to do that? So if I'm saying anything wrong in this video, put it down in the comments section. But it's either... So... His video was just an alarmist video, basically. That's the way I see it. Because, first of all, like I said, the trucks won't all be replaced overnight. Never going to happen. Um, and the second thing is, it takes massive, a massive amount of electricity to refine fuel. A massive amount. Huge. Um, now, I did look at that person's video... And this isn't me having a go at him. I just think that these people make a video and they don't really get into the nitty gritty um, of everything. They don't look at the other side of the, of, the, of the fence. They only look at this side. And it all seems a little bit alarmist. Um, because if you go back 15 years ago, people would have been complaining about how many EV chargers are on the UK roads now. They would have. They would have said, it would have been too much. We'd all be having power cuts. That's what they would have said 15 years ago. So you can see how things change. And also, you've got to remember that as we go forward, right, into the future, everything will be talking to each other. The same as my charger outside is a smart charger. So it's talking to certain, I don't know who it's talking to, but it's talking to somebody, but it also looks at my energy use in my house. And if I had too many things on in the house, it would reduce the charge to my car. So there we go. That's my uh, 
take on it. Um, if we did have 3.75 gigawatt charges in the UK, first of all, I expect that to be backed up with a huge battery array. Is the array the right word? I don't know. Um, a battery clan? <laughs> a battery hub? Um, I expect it to be backed up with that. I expect it to be backed up with a lot of solar. Uh, I, I expect a lot of things to be put in place before that ever even happens. So there we go. If you did like this video and my man maths, and if my man maths is wrong, down in the comment section, okay? And I hope you followed along. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.